Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. I'm Dr. Cassette, and today we are going to build a microphone. What you can see here is my computer. And of course, my computer has a microphone input. But I don't have a microphone for it. I only have the normal standard dynamic microphones, which you can use, for example, with tape recorders. But the computer wants to have an Alacrete condenser microphone. And here I have a couple of Alacrete condenser microphones. I took these out of old boom boxes and cheap cassette recorders. And, well, there are um, different types, of course. Um, I have here the two main types. This one, as you can see, um, an Alacrete condenser microphone always needs um, some current to work because there is a little transistor built in um, and uh, so this microphone here it has the audio and ground connection right here it's a shielded cable and right here it has the connection for the power I'm not going to use this one this um, will be for another project I'll use this one but this one it's different. The power uh, connection is also the signal connection. So we have two connections only, one for the ground and one for audio and power. And this microphone thing here, I can hook it up directly to the computer. Of course, every microphone also needs a housing, because you don't want you to hold your microphone like this. So, I searched in the stuff my mother collected, and I found these. They are containing medicine, as you can see, and I think they are really nice housings for a microphone. As you can see, I already prepared this one but uh, for a different project, so we put that to the side. This is going to be our microphone housing. We are going to start with building the housing. Let's start with the cover of the tube. As you can see, right here is a very nice space and our microphone will fit in that space perfectly. But before, normally when you get those covers, the space is covered with this piece of cardboard paper. And behind that cardboard paper is some kind of dust, maybe to protect the medicine or whatever. And um, you first have to take that out. And um, well, uh, one thing I can tell you, don't breathe this. You better do that outside. Um, but, well, here we are. This is our cover. And, well, first thing, let's take off this stupid thing here. As you can see, I've uh, cut off this stupid thing here. And now, of course, we have to make a hole into here so that the microphone can pick up the sound. And here we have the hole. And now let's see if the microphone fits. Okay. Ah. And there we go. It fits. Fits perfectly. 
And there you can see the top side of the microphone. Really nice. Now let's continue with the tube. Of course we want to connect the microphone to something. So the next step will be to find a proper connection cord and to install it on the bottom part of the tube. And as you can see I now installed the cable. As you can see it's a stereo cable with a stereo plug on it but that's only because I couldn't find a mono cable with a monophonic plug on there. So now we can go and connect the connection cable to the microphone. And as you see the wire is now connected to the microphone. And now I've wound some tape around the connections so that we don't get any shortcuts. As you can see the connection for the right channel is hooked up to nothing. It's just um, behind that tape and um, that's because well we have a monophonic microphone not a stereophonic. And now the new computer microphone is finished and we can put it together. And here it is. The Elecrete Condenser Microphone for Computers. And now I'm recording with the Elecrete Condenser Microphone. And unfortunately I'm only getting audio on the left channel, not on the right channel. So now I'll have to go and connect the right um, connection of our cable also to the microphone. I thought that wouldn't be necessary, but obviously it is. And as you can see, now both the left and the right channel are connected to the microphone. So let's try it out. And now I'm recording again and this time it should be on both channels. By the way, to record this I'm using a little program called Number 23 Recorder 2.0. You can get it on the internet and it is for free. It's a very simple little program. Really nice. And um, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Mm -hmm.